We have the Festal Domino DF500. Good, and it's just that back then. Today's video is on the Festool Domino DF500. I've had the DF700 for about a year now and I'm finding that I do need to do some smaller dominoes. So these little dominoes here are the 6mm by 40mm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this bit of oak literally just straight onto the top of there glue it in place so it sits there like that we're also going to try the QA DF 500-700 these are extension rails to go out the side of the DF 500 so we'll find out how easy they are to use both together because I've never used this machine before and uh, we'll have a go so that one just pushes onto the side there on the side they have a little groove that the plastic fits into and it's just a case of popping it down on top of the plastic and then pulling the handle back On the height gauge here on the side it has the thickness of your materials so I've got it tw measured in at 20 which actually means that the center of the don domino will be 10 millimeters down all right we have the depth stopped now what we need to do is lower this front section down and that will balance on the top of the wood and then we just plunge in on the bottom of the unit it has a sprung loaded clip here and also on these these are sprung loaded as well On the top of the machine, it has three settings, tight, medium, and loose. And that's not the depth setting, that's the width setting. And what I've tried is I'm going to try them on tight setting and see how accurate these pins are. Because on the internet, everyone shows it going on to the loose, loose uh, medium setting for the second one. Well, literally straight out of the box first cuts I've done with it and it's perfectly flush on this end and as you can hear by my finger there's no no ridge at the top and that's a perfect little joint and 
now it's all a case of is glue these up pop it on and uh, clamp it I'll do some more videos on the DF500 um, as soon as I get used to it but I thought I'd rather than doing an unboxing I would actually do an unboxing and go straight into using it on its first cut on the tight setting and it's worked beautifully I think I might be selling my biscuit joiner thank you for watching